My name is Kirk Fletcher, and I'm a blues guitar player singer from Southern California. And my music is basically just always trying to just be as soulful as I possibly can and definitely just fly by the seat of my pants and just try and be in the moment. So it involves blues, a lot of blues and funky stuff and rhythm and blues and all those different elements and I think how all those elements are joined together is by a lot of original music. So yeah, that's a little bit about me, I guess. <laughs> Well, I, I think one of the big parts of attempting to be soulful is playing from your heart, you know, and sometimes you feel differently and you play differently, you're really excited or you're sad about something and you just try and come from your heart and let your ego and everything get out of the way and just get across the message, you know, and being happy to be someplace because people came to see you play and you know just trying to get out of yourself and all of the things that you know life brings upon you know all of the problems and stuff to just try and channel it in a positive way you know so I think that's the big part of being soulful and then blues music is to me soul and blues are the same things it's like the root the foundation you know same family. yeah absolutely When I first heard blues, I mean, blues was always there. It's like I don't really remember a time when it wasn't there in some kind of way because my family's from Arkansas. So, you know, they would talk about all these people like Howlin' Wolf and Muddy Waters, Bobby Bland, B.B. King, you know, Lowell Folsom, and all, the, all these people. And then I think where I really first heard, I might have heard like Turn On Your Love Light by Bobby Bland or something from my brother's record collection. But also, um, there was Bernie Pearl on the radio station every Saturday and Sunday in Long Beach, California. Nothing but the blues on. Uh, it's K-Jazz now, but it was K-L-O-N before, you know. So I heard Howlin' Wolf, Little Red Rooster, and that was like, whoa, this is what they're talking about. I love this. Because it reminded me of the gospel music in a way. The quartet, you know, like Dixie Hummingbirds or something in a different way. And I'm like... Okay, and I was only like maybe eight, and I, I just, you know, some people it just, they get it, I guess. The name of my new record is Hold On. And it's basically my first record where I wrote all the songs with a little help from a couple of my friends. And it's all original music, you know, and I'm just talking about my um, life up until this point. Kind of reflecting back on different things that have happened, moving to Europe in the last, you know, two years been over here. And um, just my observations, you know, about life and not just boy-girl situations, but just, you know, life in general and, you know, things that I would like, you know, to see different, you know, in future times and 
playing the guitar because I think that most of my uh, fans and people that come to see me um, play and sing, they want to hear me play guitar. So I figured I'd do a record where I'm playing quite a bit of guitar on there, <laughs> you know? The message to the world is to just try and show some kindness and some love to another person, you know. That's basically it. If one person can just, if you could just do something nice and kind, you know, from the bottom of your heart, that would make, you know, things a whole lot better, <laughs> you know.